And recent violent attacks and quality of life concerns are raising questions about just how ready Times Square is to welcome back businesses and visitors. But thanks to warmer weather, larger crowds, and an increased NYPD presence, recovery is looking closer than ever. Despite the cloudy day, people were out on the streets in Times Square. Some tourists, others workers, shoppers, and local visitors. Outdoor dining at Le Marais was busy with every table taken at lunch. At the Val Cafe, manager Awad Musa was busy restocking after weekend crowds depleted his shelves. A nice problem to have after a horrible year. When did you start noticing more people starting to come back? Uh, when it started getting hot, you know, when the spring start and uh, now is maybe we're going to the summer, so it's more people that come in. The NYPD is visible throughout Times Square in mobile patrols and on foot to address a sense of unease and fears of random attacks. Under the Business District Recovery Initiative, an NYPD spokesperson tells us more will be added in coming weeks. Public safety is critical, especially in Times Square, which represents 15 percent of city economic activity, says Tom Harris, acting president of the Times Square Alliance. Things could be better. There are issues out there that need to, to be addressed. One crime in Times Square is too many, and there were recently high-profile crimes in and near Times Square that have caused alarm. One ongoing concern is the placement near Times Square of a homeless shelter for mentally ill people with substance abuse issues. The mayor acknowledges more needs to be done. We're going to have the city cleanup corps, which is going to be really exciting, 10,000 strong out there cleaning up our streets, getting rid of graffiti. Uh, I think you're going to see a, a wonderful rebirth in Times Square this summer. Now, the Times Square Alliance president announced on Good Day this morning that his organization will partner with other groups for what they call neighborhood navigators who will identify individuals in crisis and get them help right on the spot before they can hurt themselves or anybody else. We're live in Times Square. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.